Good evening, mentorship traders. Friday evening, 5th of June, 2020. Our usual Friday evening session. We'll talk about the index, the markets and sectors. And like always, later on, we'll take up the doubts and questions. So this is the weekly chart of Nifty. We have a really impressive close to 7% rally from the index. Quite, um, quite a gutsy move, I would say. Last Friday when I was doing this similar session, I was uh, talking about this, this gap, which was there over here. It's no more there because the markets have closed this gap. I was expecting, anticipating that the index will respect a bit of this resistance, but it seems like it had made up his mind to close the falling gap with the help of a rising gap. That's that's really nice. That's like literally tit for tat. And uh, since Monday, it essentially did not look look back. And um, short squeeze, shorts find themselves in a pretty uh, discomfort situation for the most of this week. Moved into an uptrend. We have a nice roll up from our moving averages. Momentum has picked up really well. So far, so good. We got two consecutive strong positive candles and a pretty healthy bounce back from the lows of close to 7,500 for the Nifty future. A milestone because it took up the psychological 10K mark and at today's close of 10,145, it's, it's holding well. I think I did mention in our uh, Wednesday's morning class that whenever the market comes close to a long-term average or psychological level, it becomes tend to become very volatile. So 10K is a psychological level. It's adding a digit to itself, it matters a lot. And so it was a little um, choppy Thursday. To some extent, it was there on Wednesday also, but today it seemed like it was to some extent in control. However, if you notice closely, we have a hook setup, a negative hook setup on the Nifty daily chart. What does that mean? It means that if we have the index slipping below today's low of 10,040, or if you put it in a much more simpler manner, if the index slips back below the 10K mark on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, then that can lead to a short-term uh, correction or a short-term consolidation. Either of these two are, are definitely happening. In that case, we can clearly see that the index is now struggling at a gap down, and it's got some nice support from gaps close to that 9700. So short-term level for the Nifty future is 10,000. 40, or you can use a simple psychological 10K mark. If it slips below 10K going forward next week, then for the rest of the week, it can stay a little subdued. Now we got uh, pleasantly surprised this week with a gap up and complete follow through. The market's underlying momentum is extremely strong. So I do not expect a big fall, but maybe a small, or a sharp fall, which will lead to an equally sharp bounce back. So short traders should be a little careful. If you look at the weekly charts at 10K, we are dealing with erstwhile supports coming in from the lows of April 2018 and October 2018. So erstwhile supports are very likely to act as resistance. So the index is dealing at a level of resistance right now. The weekly momentum indicators are, of course, on the over bought zone. The daily has traded a hook. So overall, it seems like Nifty is all placed to tie down a little bit. We got proven wrong this week at the very opening. We would love to be proven wrong on Monday also if it gaps up and continues its strength. It's always a good thing. But a slip below 10K, be a little careful. So traders, be cautious about taking long trades 
If you take them, try and cover them or book out of them as soon as possible. Short traders can look out for shorting opportunities in the mid next week. If we look at the sectoral behavior, I quickly ran a one week performance and I checked and it clearly shows that the sectors, the pocket which matters the most to the market, the PSU banks, the private sector banks, the bank nifty, the financial services, these are the ones which gained the most. In my monthly take, the video which I have recently uploaded on YouTube, I mentioned that um, the financial services and the banking space are extremely reactive at this market. It's contributing to the gains as much as it is contributing to the fall as well. It's not showing that kind of relative strength or weakness per se. It's extremely reactive. So we will also stay reactive and would expect that the momentum will continue for the bank nifty. If you look at the bank nifty, it's far from where the nifty is. The nifty is trading above its high of April 20 and it's back to the levels which it saw on 13th, the week ended 13th of May, I'm sorry, March 2020. But if you look at bank nifty, it's not even taken out the highs of 30th of April 2020. We have pattern traders will definitely figure out that we have a double bottom in the making which will get triggered about the psychological level of 22,000. Very likely, we can have a move close to that 22,000 and the index can die down a little bit. Because if you look at heavyweights like SBI, it is actually approaching good amount of resistances over at supply zone. Apart from that, um, none of the sectors posted a negative close, which is a good sign. At the least, we have FMCG, uh, FMCG, which is flat. Then we have the pharma. We, we are bullish on pharma. We continue to say that we look to buy on dips and stocks like uh, Dr. Reddy and Lupin, etc. gave us a good move this week. IT. Now, this is an in interesting uh, sector to keep a close watch on, especially I would show you the chart of Infosys. This is what IT is struggling at. It's actually come down or come up to resistances coming from erstwhile um, supports. So it's dealing with um, supply zone. The good thing is the momentum has improved a lot, uh, which clearly shows in the behavior of the relative strength index. Um, important stock in this sector to look at will be Infosys. Make or break for Infosys, if you look at the daily chart. Extreme range contraction. I think this is something like an NR5 from, from Nifty meaning that for the five consecutive days, the range is dropping. It's a make or break. It's clearly facing a resistance from our long-term moving average. It needs a breakout above 712 or if it breaks down below 700. So these are the two levels you can work with breakout traders. Um, either case, it can move. On the upside, it can surprise you. On, the, on sub 700, then definitely you have a move towards that 6675 zone. So keep a close watch on Infosys and the IT space also. It's kind of mixed with Tech Mahindra giving us a move. Um, overall, I think that the market will consolidate. Even if it corrects, it will bounce back sharply and it will not try to give away the gains it has managed to so far. Banks and financial services may continue to show a bit of relative strength next week, but they are fairly reactive. Um, FMCG can be seen as a possible breakout candidate. If you see the Nifty FMCG index, it's trading tad below the 30K mark, clear resistances. There's no doubt these are clear supply zones coming from previous highs and lows. One, two, three, four, five, five days of consolidation. It can give us a breakout. And if it does, then stocks like IPC, Hindustan, Unilever, Dauber, et cetera, would be ones which will continue further. This needs to be seen whether it manages to break out or not. It has shown very good strength and it may break out soon. Apart from that, few odd stocks where I would want you to keep a close watch on. Um, I've been looking at ICICI Pro again, range contraction, a breakout candidate, uh, takeaway for break, breakout traders. 
and another one uh, is the HDFC Live. Where is it? Yes, there you go. This is HDFC Live daily. Not much chart because it's a new listing, but again, a range contraction and a breakout uh, candidate on the daily charts as well. Overall, I think that next week is going to be tricky. Um, markets got some uh, resistances. Last time it did not care for it. This time it seems that it will because uh, it's got a uh, it's got a hook set up. It's got a divergence shaping up. The size of the candles are dropping. The index is dealing with psychological 10k mark on the weekly charts. It's dealing with the lows of 2018 uh, March as well as 2018 October November. So these resistances are far superior from what was there at 9,500. So I think the index will consolidate, uh, can correct. Uh, technically, uh, we are stretched. Strategically, I think you should be a little cautious. Uh, maintain a bullish stance, and whenever you get chance to go short from a relatively weaker sector, um, you may do so. Uh, PSU, private sector banks, financial services, you continue to stay swing with the move of the market. Especially, I will end uh, the market take showing you the chart of State Bank of India which is definitely inching close to serious resistances, which it failed to pick out 194, 195, 196 zone. So nevertheless, very impressive move from the market for two successive weeks. Uh, we would love the index to stay above 10K, but before that, I think it will dip down once and then take out the 10K uh, on the upside once again. So that's my take on the overall markets. Now let's, uh, open the forum and you can ask your adults and questions and do share the trades that you've taken this week.